friend humans, Lucas Levy Keppel here, and I am doing something a little different today. I'm going to be riding the Razorback Greenway. I'm here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. This is the uh, Mount Kessler Trailhead. Close enough. I'll be riding from here all the way to Bentonville, and then we'll see how things go. I might uh, grab a bus back, or if I'm feeling up for it, I might turn right around and ride back down. Either way, I'll end up back down here and uh, be a good day's ride. Looking forward to this. It should be beautiful. Uh, and it, the weather, I mean, it's like 50 something degrees right now. I'm well prepared for anything that would happen, but uh, feeling a little overdressed. So we'll see how this goes. Hope you'll join me. All right, here we are. After finding the trailhead, which took me a little bit of time, finally started the trail. <laughs> Razorback Greenway starts out with this nice little pond. Ole, 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 ole. A narrowing bike way. There we go, through the tunnel. Man, this feels like a roller coaster. we just went over. That was fun. Now we're on the other side of the tracks. in and I'm finally outside of Fayetteville. <laughs> I say 10 miles. I have an extra mile in there from trying to find the trailhead at the very beginning. Uh, but 10 miles on the actual trail itself. 11 total ride for me. And that was amazing. Fayetteville and it would have been amazing to be a, a college student having a bicycle get anywhere in town just off the, the various bike paths that they had. I'm really impressed with it. Now, of course, that I'm outside the town, it's a little bit more rural out here. Have a little bit more of the the trees and things, although this is still a town. I think this is the town of Johnson.
Looks like a passenger liner. Arkansas and Missouri. Golden Age. And there's people on board. How cool is that? Okay, Greenway's closed, so we take the road. Thank you. All right, another detour here. That's nice. Good placement for them. So much of the second half of this adventure <laughs> has been just up and down slog. Wasn't as much to record, unfortunately. But going through each of the little towns has been great. Being able to see these small towns and now as I'm starting to enter Bentonville, seeing the big town that was a little one. It's been built up over time. Where I am now is pretty incredible. Not just the rivers here, but it's a floating platform. The bridge that runs from where we came from, intersecting another trail here in the middle, and then continuing on from there. It's truly incredible. <laughs> the uh, engineering, the uh, desire to bring this all together. I mean, I know it's just like 30 to 40 miles of road, trail really but it's paved the whole way there's some up and down there's some nice switchbacks there's some tunnels it's really really fun and uh, if you get a chance to ride it i highly recommend it Oh, 
this is very fancy. Bentonville uh, near the Crystal Bridges Museum. All the art that's here is just amazing. It's also cool to see all the mountain bike trails and the off-roading abilities that they've got going on here. The Greenway is still the Greenway, but there's lots of options to take. Little dirt paths, which you can maybe see next to me here. But 37 miles along the trail means I'm almost at the end. <laughs> it's been a been a good ride. A lot of fun. That is incredible. It's just along the, the trail here, who knew? Mile 38. I believe that this is the end of the road, of the trail. <laughs> One day, this is gonna keep going. We're not there yet. So here we are at the end of the trail. The Razorback Greenway from one end to the other, at least so far. Obviously it will continue one day. We're not there yet. No, I have uh, had a great ride today. Along the way, I've enjoyed the art that's been all around, both the, uh, the street art and the installation art, more official, if you will. But one thing stood out to me, and that was at one point, it might have been uh, street art perhaps, but there were a whole bunch of LGBTQ flags celebrating and supporting people. And one of them said, support trans youth, except, except someone had come by and covered over trans with mud. It was obviously intentional. And it hurt my heart. I don't usually change street art or installations that people have done, but that stood out to me. And so I scraped off the mud as best I could. So it's important to support people. You know, I, I'm a Presbyterian pastor and often Christians, especially pastors are painted with a brush of, we're all anti-LGBTQ individuals, but I'm certainly not. God loves you whoever you are, whatever your, your orientation is, God loves you. Since God loves you, I love you too. I'd love to make that a lot more profound, but I, I don't know how that's missed by so many people. And it hurts my heart. You 
usually like to end these videos with, you know, a rousing success or whatever, but that's just been on my mind. So I want to leave that with you, maybe as a, a task to take with you in your adventures, in your wanderings. Show love to each other. Maybe make things better for as many people as you can. If we all do that, the world's going to be a better place. I'm Lucas Levy Keppel. Thank you for watching Keppel's Vlog.